Hello everyone. In this tutorial we are going to calculate the area of this triangle, but notice that the base and the height of the triangle are not listed. So we have to use the graph paper that the triangle is superimposed over to figure out what the length of the base is and what the length of the height is. So what we're going to do first is we are going to state our formula, which is A is equal to the base of the triangle multiplied by the height of the triangle divided by 2. But we cannot go any further until we figure out what the length of the base of the triangle is and what the height of the triangle is. So we're going to look at the base first. And the base of the triangle starts right here and ends right here. From this mark to this mark, that is one unit. And to here would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So to get from one end to the other end, we would have to travel a distance of 6 units. So starting from 0, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are going to label the base of this triangle 6 units. Now to deal with the height of this triangle, we are going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way all the way to the top. From here to here would be 1 unit, 2 units, 3, 4, 5, and 6 units. So to get from the bottom to the top, we would have to travel a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. So I'm going to label the height of this triangle 6 units. Now that we know what the dimensions of this triangle are, we are going to proceed with our equation. So we are going to substitute the B for base with 6 and the H for height with 6 as well and take that product and divide it by 2. The product of 6 times 6 is 36 and we're going to divide that number by 2. And when we do that, we get a value of 18 square units. Now we can clearly see that there are 18 square units located inside this triangle. If we count them individually, we can see that altogether there should be 18 squares within the confines of this triangle. So let's count them out just to verify this. We see here that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 whole squares. However, this one and this one here would make another whole, so that's 16, plus these two halves make 17, and these two halves here make 18. So altogether, we would say that it would take 18 square units to cover the surface of this given triangle.